What is this tool with sharp wheels? It opens and closes and has four pizza cutter like wheels about an inch and a half in diameter with sharpened edges. I assume it's for leatherwork. No markings. About nine inches long. It is made of metal with light rust. And the entire contraption opens like a pair of scissors. It's a girdling tool. It is used to remove a ring of bark all the way around the tree. This severs the tiny tube-like structures that carry water and nutrients from the ground to the rest of the tree. And the tree eventually dies. It's a very old way of clearing trees from an area. What is this ornate brass container with an adjoining brass box without a bottom and with a flap on top? It didn't have much weight to it, roughly one pound at most. The interior of the side box appeared to be charred. I found it in a thrift store in Henderson, Nevada. Any ideas? It's a travel inkwell and pen holder. This is a souvenir from the Middle East. I lived in Egypt, and the tourist markets had tons of these on offer with other brass knickknacks. What are these tiny metallic balls in the cabin air filter of my 2009 Toyota Corolla? No visible markings. This filter was installed in my car at a recent service. I am unsure of the purpose of the grid of cups with metallic balls and them on the intake side of the filter. Google has not been helpful. But I have a hunch their purpose is related to air purification, similar to charcoal or activated carbon. I just don't see how they'd work like that if there are air gaps between the balls. Those are activated carbon. The tiny spheres are intended to maximize surface area. The advantage of these filters is that they trap not only solid particles, but also harmful gases such as sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and ozone. Through adsorption, activated carbon adsorbs unpleasant odors, preventing them from entering the cabin from the outside. What is this Carter device next to a waiting airplane? It has a tube connected to the plane. I thought it could be a fuel tank, but the tube looks too thin, and the supposed fuel container is too small, and there doesn't seem to be pressure in the tube anytime. I also thought it might be a drainage system for the plane toilets, but I wonder why that would be at the front of the plane. It's a ground power unit or a GPU. It provides electrical power to the aircraft when it's parked and doesn't have the engines running. This is important especially during boarding, when the cabin lighting needs to remain on for passengers to embark or disembark. The GPU is also used to start the auxiliary power unit, which in turn provides electricity to start the engines and the generators. What are these round plastic containers with small red tubes? The inside is ribbed, around 30 centimeters in diameter. Can be stocked on one another, but not perfectly. The matchbox is for size comparison. A friend said it may be an air fryer, but the upper part has a closing lid. What is it? They are seed sprouters. You put in a paper towel then seeds on top and fill it with water on the top floor. It will dripple down through the red nipples. I have something looking almost the same. What is this small spring with plastic diamonds at each end? My uncle bought it in a market in Pakistan. In a small packet there were 10 or so of them. I've used Google image search and something about spiral spacers came up, but I can't see why they have diamonds in the ends of them. Any idea what this could be? It's a 1990s hair springs accessory. I remember using them when I was a teenager. You bend them slightly to open the spring and attach it to your hair. But they pulled on your hair so badly. It was a terrible idea, and still, they were popular for a little while with teens. What is this heavy steel plate I found in the shallow ground during excavation? It is an oval plate, flat on one side and shaped on the other. The plate is about 1 inch thick and is made from steel or maybe cast iron, weights about 50 pounds. I have tried searching for heavy base plates and concrete embedments without any luck. The object does not have text on it, not sure what else to say. It looks like a pressure vessel handhole or manway cover. The slots are for bolt heads with outward facing threads for attachment to a yoke or two that anchor it in place against a ring in the wall of the vessel. The center is a handle for installation. What is this 2 by 5.5 inches tool? It has set screws to lock in an angle, and the metal plate on top is removable. Also has two screws on the bottom plate. It was gifted to me by my ex's dad. He's a long-haul driver, 
But this doesn't seem to be occupation related, I'm at a complete loss. There is no writing or markings on the item either, what is it for? It's a mounting plate adapter for a laser level. I had a cheap laser level that came with something that looked like this. What is this thing? The stand is wood with a glass lid, and everything inside is metal and removable. No markings, no luck googling, possibly auto mechanic or clock maker related based on ownership. It's a watchmaker staking set. A variety of shaft and hole operations, pushing a shaft into a hole, punching new holes in sheet metal, riveting, widening, or narrowing a hole, that sort of thing. What is this silver trio of cones on a spinning frame attached to the city parking garage? One at each driveway. This was about 12 inches front to back, 8 inches side to side, by 3 inches tall. Shiny silver color. My guess is aluminum. This was the exit gate of a public parking garage downtown. The one pictured spun slowly, but the identical one on the other side of the brick pillar at the entrance gate was not spinning. No wires or lights that I could see. Possibly wind powered given the shape. Even if it is literally a horizontal mini windmill. What on earth would it be for? And what could it be doing in front of a parking garage? It's a bird deterrent. It's a silent wind-powered spinning visual bird deterrent that effectively scares birds away. The mirror-like design uses sunlight and wind to create a distraction zone that confuses pest birds, causing them to flee the area. What are these thin white boxes mounted at all intersections and along I-5 corridor? I've wondered about these for years, and now it's time to get to the bottom of this. These devices are everywhere vehicles go. Some are flat-faced, and some have ribs. Intersections usually have multiple devices, all pointing at traffic from various angles. They are all over town and on the freeways as well. They are called smart sensors. It's a vehicle detector that provides all the data you need, including per vehicle speeds, vehicle counts, average speed, 85th percentile speed, occupancy, and more. What is this small rectangular piece of what appears to be thin bark or leather? I found it on the coast of Okinawa, Japan. It is about 2 inches wide and 4 inches in length, based on the direction I'm holding it and has some kind of dotted design. Not sure if this is naturally occurring on some type of tree bark, or if it is man-made and somebody etched these patterns in. It was found in a pile of debris where the tide receded and it was very brittle. I know this sounds strange, but it looks exactly like a piece of a palm tree that grows in New Zealand, called the Australian straw tree fern. That is a piece of the trunk, and the circle and pattern are where the leaves attach. I know there are similar plants throughout Australia and up into the islands. It's very light and floats well. What is this metal wheel-like thing in the front yard? It is heavily rusted, it's been here since before we moved in, and I have no clue what it is. What do you think is it for? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.